Hello everybody, 343 has made some secret changes to Halo Infinite, and I'm not sure if it was intentional or not, but when they changed the new networking model, a certain vehicle on Halo Infinite went from useless to almost better than everything in the game. Now when you look at this vehicle driving around, you're not going to expect much. It's just a little quad bike with two sets of guns on the front. It is is amazing. I am of course talking about the Gun Goose. This is the last thing I expected to be amazing. It really, really is. For whatever reason, whatever 343 changed, it is a very quick two-hit kill now. So the Gun Goose goes boom, 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 and they're dead. The range is absurd. You can almost cross-map people with it, and if it's in red reticle range, it will lock on at almost every distance. Now, I first became aware of this because certain players would keep using it on me, and I was like, hang on a minute, why am I keep getting killed by a gun goose over and over and over again? So I was like, you know what, screw this, I'm gonna try it myself. And oh my god, nobody has mentioned this. Nobody has spoken about this change. It shreds everything. I can take out enemy warthogs. I can take out any infantry. And if I need to aim a little bit higher, I just reverse the mongoose a little bit and you can aim upwards. The time to kill is faster than a battle rifle, an assault rifle, even a sidekick that is being spammed with all of its shots. It might be one of the fastest time to kills in the game for a vehicle that is traditionally only used for transport. I mean, you're looking at the gameplay on screen here, I got like 44 kills in a game just using a gun goose, just driving around, not even taking it seriously. I know as soon as I make this video, everybody's going to be using the gun goose, and I haven't even mentioned if you put a repair field on it. Unless they have a one-hit kill weapon, which would take out any vehicle, you're going to decimate everyone. Not to mention the respawn time is like 30 seconds, so the trade-off for using it is really, really low, and the potential for kills is really, really high. It also makes me happy because the vehicles on Halo Infinite aren't really utilized, a lot of people are like, well, the vehicles are kind of underpowered. So to have something like the Gun Goose that is actually viable, I was so surprised I'm making this video. And that is not the only thing 343 has changed. Now, back when Season 5 Reckoning first rolled out, there was a golden sandwich on the Infection map, and it could only be used in Infection. It was like an Easter egg. You hit the buttons, a golden sandwich spawns, but it was never really useful. Fast forward to the latest content update, and 343 has made the sandwich a weapon that can be placed in Forge. The secret change that even I didn't notice, as I play nothing but squad battle, is 343 has started putting usable sandwiches on the map to use. You can run around smacking people in the face with sandwiches now, and I hate to say it, but does that mean Halo Infinite has its first brand new weapon outside of the bandit? That's a goddamn sandwich? Are you kidding me? Using it in Infection is one thing, as zombies are one-hit kill and they have a sword, so you're kind of limited in what you can do with it. But in a traditional game mode, you can throw grenades, and the animation looks a bit wonky, by the way, and the lunge range is further than an oddball. It's less than an energy sword, but it's really quick on the melee. I was running around last resort today, smacking people in the face, and it's just found on the table. At the start of a game, just like any other weapon on the map, you can run over and pick up the sandwich. It seemed like squad battle on the whole received an update today. Some of the maps saw weapons change. Two maps were added to the playlist that were recently taken away. It turns out there was copyright Easter eggs from different franchises and different fandoms that 343 didn't know about. So they took the maps away. The Easter eggs were removed. Now the maps are back. For some reason, 343 also removed the rocket launcher off of Last Resort, probably to try and nerf me running for the sniper at the start of a game. A very specific change that I did not feel was warranted as the skewer in its current form is completely awful. The last thing I have to mention to you guys today, and it's just about the overall refinement of the game, is say you're playing with friends, you're all hanging out on the couch together, and you're like, let's play some big team battle split screen. As Halo Infinite does offer four player split screen, big team battle heavies will allow four player split screen, and you can load into matchmaking. The regular big team battle playlist locks you to two, and you can't do four player split screen. Why aren't they the same? I don't understand. This is really easy stuff, and you guys guys gotta get it right. Even free for all playlist 343 took it away. I'm almost positive 343 removed the ability for split screen players to go into free for all together. They had it and then they took it away. BTB has been like that since launch. Why the inconsistency? I'll never know, but the best way for me to get something fixed is of course to make a video about it and bring some awareness to it. With that said, give the Gun Goose a try. Get a teammate on the back. It is so much fun. Pure Halo. The new networking model makes it feel great to drive, and it's something small, but Halo Infinite has a new weapon in matchmaking, at least in an official capacity now. That's a goddamn sandwich. Anyway, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Very impromptu video today. Some stuff I've really had to tell you guys so you can go into 
matchmaking, give it a go yourselves and you'll see what I beat. So thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. New video out in the next couple days and I'll see you guys later.